Hello, it's Andy Graham with Hobo Traveler. I'm in the Embarcadero. Is that right, Tatiana? I got a Russian girl here. She's I'm in Embarcadero uh, Hostel in uh, Venice, Italy. Uh, you know, the one with all the canals. And I'm going to have a free breakfast. And I'm I'm starting to really get wired in on this hostel stuff, and realizing that a free breakfast included is a nice bonus because it's really difficult to figure out where to buy food. I think here in Venice it would be just impossible to try to buy anything less than 15 euros or something. So they got uh, coffee, toast, they got little baby loaves of bread. That's a baby loaf of bread. Look at that. Um, let's see what they got. Tea, butter, Oh, these are those, uh, the Vashkeri, uh, the laughing cow type thing I get in Africa. They got little granola bar, no, I don't know what these are. Package good. They got the little package things. Don't think that processed food hasn't hit uh, Europe. Europe's got tons of processed food. So, we got everything. Got some uh, apples. We got somebody screaming outside. Hey! Contrary to what you think, this is not the quietest place. Uh, they, they had the bells <laughs> ringing this morning. I was laughing. The, the, the church bells rang about 7 o'clock for about 8 times. Like all these travelers ever wake up before 9 or 10. Okay, that is the breakfast. I'll try to get Tatiana, my uh, Russian uh, hostess here in the hostel. I haven't met that many people from Italy in Italy, so it's kind of funny. The last hostel had some, uh, the lady was from Malta, which is a place I'm going here in about three days. But this is the breakfast in the hostel in, in Barcadero. I mean, it, it, it likes, uh, that means like to get into the boat, I think. Okay, or the, the dock or something like that. Because we're on this very close to the stop. But uh, this is where the sat. I'll show you this area real quick. This is the common area, kitchen area. I don't. Uh, but uh, I'm going to eat my breakfast. I think Tatiana's hiding. I gave up sugar, so this meal was really tough because even the croissants were sweet. These cookies here, these are all cookies. This is chocolate. That's some kind of sweet stuff. The cheese is the only thing that's not thing. This is jelly. So I really had trouble here with this uh, breakfast. Hello, it's Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I'm in the uh, I'm in Venice, Italy, in a hostel in a in in a bacadero, and I'll, I probably said that wrong. And uh, I got my bed all the way up here. <laughs> See how they're all here. <laughs> uh, this is an old building and they got and the minute I walked in the room I thought this is screwed so what I had to do is I had to move up there I put my computer on here and it shoots right down this hallway and I can add internet access if I if I put it back there whatever uh, so it's it's kind of a nice hostel except for you know they basically haven't done any of the intelligent things we got another Chinese guy here that's really sharp and he's up here working at this table, okay? But obviously, you. This is why I like to not have reservations, is because I can walk into the place, test the internet before I have to commit. But with reservations in Europe, you're always committing. Most of the internet in the in the hostels has been really good, I can say it. But uh, you know, it's it's not always as simple as you think and working in a common area is, is annoying because you know one of the problems in a hostel is you never have any privacy so fortunately inside the, the dorm room from about 10 till 3 or 4 it's pretty quiet it's a lot of privacy so I'm hanging out a lot but um, I do this a lot I, I often move my bed not focusing good because of the fluorescent lights but uh, I often move my bed just for the internet access and make it so that I can do it. I, um, you know, but most of the hotels don't give a shit. So, you know, what can you say? 
they really don't know what they're they're they, they just put it together and they really don't care whether the customer is uh, happy or not. Hello, it's Andy Graham with HoboTraveler.com. I'm in the Embarcadero Hostel in, um, let's see, Venice, Italy. And I was laughing. I was talking to some Korean girls in the breakfast, and they were getting bit by mosquitoes last night. And I was explaining that we had a mosquito net. Oh, there's a mosquito that uh, they, they put a mosquito net on this window, just like I would do in uh, Africa. But, you know, I do a better job, I guess. There's holes all over the place. There are mosquitoes on the inside. But uh, mosquitoes are quite a problem in Europe. I remember being in Brugge, Belgium. First time I went to Brugge, Belgium, and I didn't take a mosquito net with me. And uh, I wish I would have. Um, many times in Europe, they, they don't... They have these buildings that are 150 years old with no mosquito nets and no screens. And they haven't seen to upgrade to that level of uh, protection from mosquitoes. So here I am living in a hostel. I'm getting transferred from this room to another room today and I hope the next one has uh, mosquito nets. I'll, I'll show you in a little bit if they don't because they are quite bad. Okay, in Barcadero Hostel, I'll show you the other room I moved into when I get there. Okay, I've been moved to another room, and this one has no screens on it. It has a window on the canal, but uh, no screens. So, and it has a, what they call a comfort room. But I have no idea what it's for. Probably a good place for couples to go in and shag each other. It has a locker. Oh, it's only got three lockers for six beds. I'm lucky. Um, I don't know what that door is. I could go to the kitchen. But, uh got a mirror. Um, I'll have to put up my mosquito net that I didn't bring to Europe. I really like to bring a mosquito net to Europe ever since I was in Brugge, Belgium getting eaten alive one time. This is the uh, shower in, in a back in, in a Bacaro hostel in Venice. You get a little sink, a little mirror, it all fogs over because there's no uh, exhaust foam so when you Take a hot shower, the trap on the drain is dirty, plus it has no trap. You have a good day, like we need that. Toilet flushes over here. Uh, never take these things serious. I mean, you know, they charge enough for these things. They're just trying to make extra money. Um, me hanging my bag up, because anything on the floor is wet. And unusual for it to have a towel. This drain is really beat up. But the place is better than most places.